All right. Okay, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I still have my green shirt on, uh, which is in reference to the fact that it is uh, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 2020. Uh, for historical purposes, uh, the, one of the reasons I'm doing this video uh, is because we are in the coronavirus protocol, which means most people are, are staying at home, including all the students. But hey, uh, good opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do, which was to make a little bit of a, uh, tutorial videos about the Ross switcher because I don't think uh, there's a whole lot of really good stuff out there. Not that this is going to be really good, but uh, I'm hoping it's helpful to you guys. All right. That being said, uh, if you needed to watch the overview uh, video of the switcher that was uh, recorded uh, earlier today, uh, it should be available to you on a series of links uh, through Canvas. All right. Um, so we talked about the basics, right? We talked about this is your program bus, this is your preset bus. And then we got into a little bit of the key aux custom control bus. All right. We don't, uh, we didn't get into too much, but we did set up a, a, a uh, auto select key. Uh, and we assigned it with key one and we, we tied it to CG one and we made it auto select. And we talked about what is an auto select? Well, in other terms, it's called a linear key. That allows us to, I'll go ahead and show it to you here. It's already set up. It, I mean, and I'm, I'm gonna do a, a key one auto, which is a, as opposed to key one cut. That allows us to fade the graphic in and out. And we can change the transition duration of that as well. Um, how you change the transition duration of that is to simply go over to this key panel here, right? You see where it says key one eight? Key one eight is in reference to the um, the transition duration of the key. So that's an eight frame transition where I'm bringing it in and out. I can type in a, a value 60, for example, and hit enter. Oh, or I can't. 60? Oh, no. Okay, I don't know why not. 66. Oh, it's looking at. It's not looking at, eh, I'm going to have to scrap this one. So what am I doing here? Key one. Emmy. No, I don't want Emmy. I want key rate. Key rate. Key rate one, eight. If I type in 60, enter. Look, now I bring it. Oh, I lost myself. I lost myself. All right. There I am. Now let's do it again. Key one auto. Holy criminy, that's slow. Why you would ever do a 60 frame uh, fade in with a graphic? Maybe something very creative, very sensitive. It's all right. Let's go back to uh, let's go back to uh, what it was before, which was like eight. Enter, and now uh, oops, no. It's careful. You gotta watch the. Uh, Watch what's highlighted, right? So now key rate is highlighted as at 60. I'm going to change it to 8. Now you see key 1, 8. And I can make it come in and go out faster. Right? I could do the same thing with the, if I toggle this, it goes to key 2. Then I could go to key 3 and goes to key 4. So you can select all of the transition durations of your keys in this panel, this little panel here. Again, it has to do with um, the... Uh, the transitions. This whole thing kind of is all generally related in relation to transitions. Okay. Sorry about the slight delay there in figuring that out, but you know, you know, you just had to tell me that. Why didn't you just say something? Sorry. Movie lines flip and slip into my brain while I'm talking. Okay. Giving you the perfect framing here. All right. Here we go. All right. This is so super cool. Check this out. All right, I can zoom in and anywhere I want to. All right, so zooming in on the, this little selection here. Key one, two, three, four. Uh, again, four up to four keys. Uh, more essentially, I like just I like to describe it as a Photoshop um, composition. 
the background is your main image and then background in this case is whatever we put on the program bus that's the background right um, then you have layers in Photoshop and here we have keys similar functionality right a layer in Photoshop allows you to put other I objects or, or graphics or pictures or even you know well mostly Photoshop's just uh, uh, still imagery so um, you can put layer one layer two layer three Photoshop has basically unlimited layers we are limited to four uh, the one that's the closest to the background layer is key one then there's key two which is a little higher you think about you know the layers of a cake uh, key one the background is the bottom layer, key one is the next layer up, key two is the next layer up, key three is the next layer up, key four is the next layer up. So we'll see in a minute what that means. But basically, if you want something to sit on the very top of the cake, you want to select key four. Um, for simplicity purposes, uh, if we're just doing graphics, I usually just assign it to key one. Uh, but you can, you can assign, you know, you can say key four, I want you to be tied to CG1, and uh, of course I want you to be an auto select type of a key, and, and then you just go ahead and turn on your key four over here, and you're going to get exactly, you'll notice both key one and key four are s assigned to CG1, so you're going you're gonna to do exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing, All right, exactly the same thing. I could assign them all to CG1, but what would be, what's the point, all right? All right, going back, all right, key land here. Uh, oh, I'm super zoomed in, aren't I? Um, okay, the next thing, uh, again, we got your key aux bus. Um, you, can, you can assign anything, right? You can assign the, uh, the entire, uh, selection here. Let me give you a big old overview of the switcher, by the way. All right. I don't know why. I have to do a different way to do that. I can't zoom out as far as I'd like to on this camera, but for the most part, I enjoy it. Okay. So, anywho, Ballyhoo. Ballyhoo. Watch Better Call Saul. It's a great show. All right. Um, where was I? So we established auto select, right? Uh, what's the other things here? We got, uh, you got your chroma key and you got your DVE. So let's talk about those guys, right? All right. Self key we talked about, it's a luminance key. Doesn't get used very much to be honest with you. Self key uh, is the one um, we don't use very much. Auto select is the one we use primarily. Chroma key, um, I'm going to switch, I'm going to skip that one and go to DVE first. So what is DVE? It stands for Digital Video Effect. Digital Video Effect. I'm going to have a sip of the coffee. Um, DVE, Digital Video Effect. All right. Uh, if you were familiar with the Grass Valley switcher, they had a different term for it. I think I, I can't even remember the name of it, but... DVE is a term that's been around for for uh, for decades, way back into the uh, 70s when the, the first digital video effect machine came. And there used to be an entirely separate unit from the switcher that allowed you to do fun little effects like squeeze the picture, make the picture tumble, spin the picture, rotate the picture. Uh, you had all these options through this, you know, like Abacus was the name of one of the popular models back in the day um i never had an abacus that was a the company i worked for ah we had a brand which is pretty good but i can't remember what it was i never got the, my hands on the abacus but that was the that was the one that all the networks used um abacus got bought out by some other company and turned out to be something like after effects essentially um anyway uh so nowadays though it's built in it's baked into the system the, the ability to squeeze, to manipulate, okay? We still call it DVE, or these guys do. All right, Grass Valley calls it something else, probably just to avoid confusion with the abacus. Um, so let's do it, let's build one. Now you got a little history lesson on the DVE. So I'm gonna bring, um, I'm gonna tie, so things I wanna squish, right? 
So maybe I want to squish uh, an image up in the, say, right, right, where am I? Right here in space. I want to put something right there. I want to put, I want to put malady on a medium shot inside a box right there. How do you do that? Fairly simple, as a matter of fact. All right, I'll show you how. All right, I'm going to make key two tied to this image of malady. So malady happens to be on, on what? On... She's on, on that particular shot, she's on camera three. So let's go ahead and tie uh, key two to, right now it's key, right now when you press it, you see it's key, it's tied to, to, to blah, 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 to CG2, which we haven't, uh, don't put anything up there, I will. Um, there's two channels on the CG, but again, I digress. Um, so you, you can press the key and then it'll, it'll automatically route you to wherever it is currently tied to. You can also see it over here in the, uh, the mnemonic. Um, so you can see key one is CG1, key two is CG2, key three is currently tied to black, key four is also tied to CG1. Like I said, you can put all of them on CG1 if you really wanted to, but that would be silly, wouldn't it? Okay, so what we said we're going to do is we're going to take key two and we're going to put malady right here in a little box. Maybe make it soft with a border, a, a red border. All right, let's put it in the corner with a red border. Let's, shall we do it? Let's do it. All right, key two. Where do I want it? I want to tie it to camera three because that's the shot of Mally that I like so much and I want to make it a DVE, digital video effect. All right, hey, you did it. Now what? Okay, well, let's go look over here at our panel, shall we? Our, our insertion, our key insertion buttons. Um, as now you can see, camera three. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm turning it on. Holy smokes, I can't even see myself anymore. That's because uh, the key is layered over me. It, the key is layered over me. Um, I'm gonna dissolve out of it. All right. It's a bit, it looks like I'm just dissolving to that camera, but it's, it's actually a different type of a uh, format structure. Um, all right, the deal is, if I go up to this, this display here, which is our, our digital um, display panel, you will see, sorry, I wish I could be a little smoother, but this is the best I got here, uh, some options, right? Hey, we're familiar with these terms, X position, Y position, and size. It's at 100%, it's at zero zeros. This is basically the default position. If I change the size, Using the dial here below the word size, you will see something magnificent happening. Melody is now changing the size of her frame, right? Uh, I can do it quick, I can do it slow. All right. If I do it really, make it below zero, she's gone. All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Again, Y, we go up and down. Y axis is up and down. X axis is left and right. So as I said, I'd like to put her up there in the corner. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, while I'm here and you can see me pretty well, you can see the handle over here. It's, a, it's the old joystick for all of you gamers. You can spin it, spin it. I'm literally spinning it left or right to enlarge or to decrease the size. And you manip manipulate this uh, location by doing such and such. So that's another option. I, I kind of tend to go for this one just because it's more um, more fine tuning. This is this is good for rapid movement. This is good for uh, more precise movement. All right. So let me see some other options that we have here. Remember that next button. I talked about it, I think, in the other tutorial. This next button is very, um, very handy because um, this screen's very small, but there's there's more that I can do than just say, change the size. There's more. Yes. Wait. There's more. Just like they say on that knife commercial. If I hit the next button, look what I get. I get options: aspect, border, soft. I got options. What happens when I hit the aspect? Boom. Aspect ratio, remember? The width to the height, aspect ratio. Say, oh, it's 36.8. Now she's all, you know, skinnied out, makes it more like a square. 
I don't like that. Can I set it back to the default? Sure. Okay, well, I'm sitting here spending uh, mucho time trying to dial it right back into the default, which is 50. That, oh, I went over, overshot. Dang. I want to just go to default. Why is it so hard, man? Well, it's not. You, if you double click it, boom, double click it, it goes back to 50. Pro tip. All right. Border, same thing, right? You got a border. Soft, what does that mean? Well, imagine it's a, you can soften the border, give you a little different, you know, vibe. You know, you can, you could bring, a, you could bring Malady in. Um, say I want to do like uh, a dream effect, you know. Uh, I want to remember change my key rate. So I'm going to change my key rate. Remember how we do that? I don't know if I can remember. So you hit the key rate button. And it, we're looking for key two. Right now the key rate is eight. I want to make it, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to make it like crazy, like 300. All right. Now I'm going to bring in the melody key. There was once a mannequin named Melody. She lived at the Pasadena City College television production studio. She wore a red shirt with white beads. And then she served the community well until one day she was no longer with us. I can't imagine that day. There'll always be a melody. Okay, I'm going to change it back. So effect rate, I want to do key two. Uh, let's change it back to uh, 12 is one of my favorite key rate. All right, there we go. Okay, what else were we doing there? So we were talking about, um, yeah, well, let's bring her back in. Hey, Melody. Yeah, you'll always be with us, either in our heart or physically. Okay, other things you can do if you hit that next button. Uh, color, you can, if you hit red load, again, it's asking you to load something. It's typically asking for, for some something. If you press that button down, push, you'll see the little word push under here um so that means um you need to do something besides spin it you can also push it and again double tapping will set you uh, back it doesn't do anything in this one um so i'm changing it well apparently there when i double tapped it it didn't like it didn't like that uh, i don't know i screwed something up i think i broke it all right if you break something um this is what you want to do if you want to if you want to break, if you totally broke it and you can't seem to get anything to work right, it doesn't happen too much on the switcher, but it does once in a while. So I'm trying to go big here and give you the overview. All right, so these are the two keys you want to know. Uh, you want to hold down the menu and then you'll see uh, that opens up some options over here. Uh, reset all and editor off. I don't know what editor off does, but I know what reset all does. And it takes everything to black. All right, let's uh, let's reset our key. I can do this very quickly because I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Key two, camera three, DVE. Turn it on. Resize. Boom. Move it. Joystick or whatever you want to use. All right. Hit the next button. Put on a border. Make it soft. So here we are. Pretty much back to where we were. So here we go. Red. Yeah, okay, red. Whatever. I'm spinning it. It's not giving me orange. Okay, I see. You hit the, you spin it, and then you press it, it changes to them. And then it actually gives you a lot more options. If you hit next again, now you can fine tune the exact saturation level, the hue and the luminance hsl ladies and gentlemen hsl those are the three values that we use in color and television okay okay that's a pretty darn spanking nice looking oh, i did say i wanted to be red though didn't i so i could actually just change the whole hue of that issue here go to oh that will be hmm, reminds me of all the different colors in the world if i want to match her um Her dress. What is this? Not a dress. It's a blouse. A blouse. Isn't a blouse like one of those words? All right. Let me just, I'm going to toggle through here. I'm going to go next, 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 next. I, I don't like yellow anymore. I said red. 
Director asked for red, that's right. Let me find the red. Come on, can't find it. There it is. All right, there. Now, now I can fine tune it more to my liking. But I don't know. Uh, so I'm trying to match the saturation and, and the color. I'm just eyeballing it. That's not that good. But okay. Well, this has gone on for quite some time. So um, 20 minutes, I should move on. All right, so that was the DVE key. Third key we're going to do, third key we're going to do, all right, uh, is the chroma key. Chroma key, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody loves it in Hollywood. Uh, we're going to make, um, there's a special graphic in, and it's built into the switcher. It's located under the M1. Um, th and this is a whole nother exercise, but I'm going to take that key off. Take that key off. How do we take the key off? When I say turn your key on or turn it off, it's just basically, you, know, get, you can cut it or you can dissolve. Okay, so you can see that uh, there's this, the lady that they pre-installed uh, with the switcher. She's got the chroma key background. It's nicely lit, nicely well balanced, okay? So she is located currently on M2. M2, M1, 2, 3, 4, those are um, media storage locations. You can change whatever you want in um, those locations. You could put... You know, you could load pictures into the switcher and assign them so you have quick access to up to four different images. And even beyond that, there's a lot more capability besides just the four. But we know for now, we use this lady a lot. She's uh, currently living on, nope, that's not it, currently living on M2. All right? So M2, uh, think about it as media 2. Um, all right? <clears throat> so as we said before, we want to tie... Um, you know, whatever key you want, you want to tie it to uh, the source on the key bus, this key bus. So again, let's run through the steps. So I said I want to make it key three, so I'm going to press key three, and I want to tie it to M2, and I'm going to change the, so right now you can see, you can't see it, but it's on black. I just put it on M2. All right, but um, this is could cause a, it's not a big deal, but right now um, your key and your and your background are the same. So this is what that's going to look like. So I could turn on my key um, since I since I made it. Oh, one th the other thing is oh shoot, totally forgot. Sorry, key three M two, and I want to make it a. <clears throat> this time I want to make it a chroma key. So we're going to show you the chroma key, CHR key. All right. So that is currently set up. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on, you can see M2 is now identified in our mnemonic. I'm going to turn it on and holy smokes, what just happened? Okay, so this is with it off, right? So I have that image in the background. When I layer the chroma key key on top of it, it goes all crazy purple. Well, the reason why is because um, if it's a chroma key, the, the switcher has to do some work. It has to identify which pixels in this image are um, the color that we want to eliminate, right? So everything that's in green, we want to make transparent. So the computer has to do the bulk of the work and uh, there's a simple process for that. But before I do that, I want to change my background because I don't want, I don't want to be layered over the same image. It'll just not give us the effect we want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something else. I'm gonna put, say I wanna find out what, what's on those other media stores, let's say. Oh, so I'll, I'll do this. I'll, I'll hit the preset. Oop. For some reason it's, when I turn that on, it comes on to both. That's unusual, didn't expect that. Um, so I wanna put her over the, the map. So I know the map, so I'm, again, I'm toggling. The map's on M1, the girl's on M2, the baseball's on M3, and some sort of color reference charts on M4. So this is what I want my background to be. So I'm going to put that on program. Okay, now that's on program. Now I'm going to turn on my key over here. Turn on the key that we were talking about. That's key, key three. And what's going to happen, do you think? What do you think is going to happen when I turn on key three? What? That crazy lady with the purple 
doesn't look right. Something's not right. Okay. Um, but, okay, that's because the computer has to do its little uh, calculation. So, um, at this point, you want to look up at this digital display, right, up here, because it's going to give you the option to go ahead and, and do that configuration, okay? But it doesn't say right now, because we've done a couple other buttons, but as, if I press the, the chroma key button again, I'm going to press it, you'll see the digital display is going to change. All right, now it's giving you some stuff uh, that's related to chroma key. Ad, adver, adv mode, so the mode is adv, which is advanced, or you can go basic, right? The color, right, color is currently to blue, but we don't want it to be blue. We want it to set the color to whatever color it is that we want to eliminate. The options are uh, red, magenta, blue, cyan, uh, green, yellow, um, that's it. So we're going to go with green because that's what we got. And INIT I -N -I stands for initialize. So again, this is the push, push button. Uh, you can spin the initialize button and it doesn't do anything. So logic says push it. So let's push it, push it, push it real good. And you can see uh, the computer did its job of eliminating all the green pixels and making that transparent. So now that we see the girl um, transparent, uh, the green, everything that was green is currently gone and whatever is, it's being replaced with um, the image in the background. Uh, hey, remember that layering thing that we talked about? How you can layer keys one, two, three, four. There's four keys. Well, right now, guess what? We have, uh, well, I don't have it set up. I'm going to go back to you. key one, CG one, auto select. So I'm going to turn on key one right now and watch what happens holy guacamole it's behind the lady is that what we want well maybe maybe not if i don't want it to be behind the lady let's make key four to be cg1 and then we'll bring it up now it's layered on top as i said there's that structure of um hey there's the lady i can almost see between her under her hands I don't know. It's really weird spatially. I can't figure it out. I don't know. Where am I? Let's see. Hello. Uh, I'm going to turn the lady off. Bye, lady. And turn the graphic off. So currently, the lady is on key two. Uh, nope. I take it back. The DVE key is on two. The Chrome key is on three. And so now we're getting some layers going on here and then there's the um, the graphic keys on four uh, say I want to do I could do one more key um, so let's make key one tied to I don't know we'll tie it to the Mac okay we're gonna go key one we're gonna tie it to the Mac and we're gonna make it a DVE and we're gonna turn it on and okay wow what a mess well, I can, I can change the size of that because it's a DVE, right? It's a tiny little whatever. Oh, now I've lost it. Now I've lost it. I can't find it. I don't know what's going on here. You guys can't even see me. I'm spinning this thing around, and I don't know what happened. What do we do? Let's reset our defaults, okay? I'm going to change the size back to normal. Double tap. But the position's all messed up. Oh, change that to A. There it is. It's back again. Okay, now I have more control. This is why I like to use the dial, actually, because I have more control. All right, that's gross and ugly, right? So let me turn the um, let me turn the, the lady off, and then maybe this will be a little bit better. You know, I could do the whole presentation with uh, you know, something along these lines. That might be even better in the future. Anyway, have fun with it. Play around. Um, so I'm going to turn the graphic off. So that is on CG1, which is on the very top. <coughs> All right. Sweet. Um, so that's it. You got it, right? Self key. Um, that would be your luminance key. Auto select, that's your linear key used mostly for graphics. Chroma key, uh, you're, whenever you want to eliminate uh, a background like green or could be uh, other colors. 
Um, and then there's the, um, the DVE. Everybody has fun with DVE making different sizes, okay? Uh, layers, key one, two, three, four. Four is going to be your topmost layer, and um, one's going to be your bottommost layer. And the way you bring them in is you can insert the keys over here. Um, there's another way to do it, actually. Let me just talk about it for a second. Um, you can use these buttons over here. So if you want to turn on key one, it'll show you on preview that um, key one is turned on, but it's not, it's not on yet, right? Uh, but I can bring it on if I just hit the transition button. Boom. If I want to turn on key two uh, at the same time, I can then bring that in. So this is just a variety of ways you can do things. You can bring in key three that way. And then there's a or key four. Boom. So that's another way to go. So, um, or if you just want background and, mm, well, you know what though? So I turned them all off. Key one turns it on. Key two turns that one on. Key three turns that one on. Key four turns that one on. Background only. Nope. How do I go to background only? Should allow me to. Oh. Well, anyway, that's for another day. Okay, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Excruciating 31 minutes. I will have a quiz tied to this assignment, this video. Um, 31 minutes of your life. I hope it wasn't too bad. All right, take care. We'll see you next time. I think the next tutorial we're going to do, we're going to talk about ME1 and ME2. We're going to get into some effects, baby. You know it. <laughs>